So before this video gets started, I do want to mention that we got some brand new Hawk t-shirts on the website, this time in a different color. It's a super fire design and there's not very many of them. And as always, these are super comfortable t-shirts and they're going to go pretty dang quick. So if you want to help support your boys, be sure to visit goonsquad.com. But as of right now, let's get this video rolling. It's in here, yo, hey, get the fire extinguisher. Quick, 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 quick. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on our 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. And as you've seen in the past couple of videos, we have been on the frame machine pulling and cutting and all that good stuff. And we are making some major progress. We already test fitted our brand new panels and we even threw on the doors and all that good stuff to see how all the body panels line up and everything is looking good. In today's video, hopefully we can weld everything back together and possibly even head back to the Goon Squad garage and start prepping this thing for some paint. But right now, what we're gonna get started with is actually prepping all these new pieces for the welder and we possibly will throw everything back on just to see how everything aligns before we actually start welding the sucker in for good. So let's just go ahead, probably test fit a few more things and hopefully get the welder out. All right, so check this out guys. These pieces are almost 100% prepped to be welded in, but before we actually continue on those, and before we throw on any body panels, we for almost forgot something, right? Yeah, we almost forgot something. We need to actually go ahead and start working in the back, because as you guys know, we did get most of the front end done. We got the door on, we got everything lined up, but the quarter panel was lining up pretty good, but the gap was a little off. So now what we need to do is go inside here and replace this inner panel which is a little bit bent up, in, especially up through here and right here. And we really just want to replace it since we do have it. So we might as well just replace it. And there is also a little crease right here. And also we need to do some pulling behind the intersection right here. So it's gonna be nice once we pull this panel out, we can just pull everything out and straighten it up and make it Yeah, good. exactly. And that piece is right there. It should be pretty dang simple to yeah, it's not, it's not splice in. A piece pretty simple it's really nice and thin metal and then once we splice that piece in then we're going to test fit this quarter panel 100 percent because we just kind of just threw it up there and it already fits yeah, good we but threw it up there and it fit up pretty good but what we really want to do is probably throw the quarter panel back up there once we get everything nice and prep and also go ahead and probably throw on the deck wood and the roof you yeah. know make sure everything fits together because we don't really want the front fitting good and then the back not fitting yeah. good so we want to make sure everything fits a hundred percent before we do any welding or tacking so i guess let's go ahead and start replacing that piece All right, so check this out, guys. This inner skin is finally removed. It was just a little bit bent out of shape. We actually straightened it out, but since we did purchase a new one, we kind of just felt it was best to just completely replace yeah, it, right? Yeah, best to completely replace it, and we got this piece nice and prepped and ready to go. Check that out, it lines up in there. And it's almost ready to be welded in, but before we weld, you gotta throw some weld through primer, Yeah, we're gonna right? throw some weld through primer just to keep all this metal from rusting inside here. We don't want no corrosion. So down the road, this thing is nice and secure. And also after we get this welded in, we're gonna do a couple uh, MIG welds and then some spot welding around this window area. And then we're gonna continue on working on to the front and just keep, keep on going.
Alrighty guys, so that inner skin is finally welded in. We're about to show you guys how good it looks. But well, we just went ahead and test fitted this piece, also drilled out all the holes. It is pretty much prepped, ready to go for welding, right? Yep, the only thing we have to do now is actually replace this piece right here, because it slides under there, and then the other piece goes on top. So we're gonna replace this piece, and then probably go ahead and start putting out the outer structure piece on that. Yeah, exactly. There's one more piece, which is over here. It's gonna need a lot of drilling as well, right? What's going on over here? I'm just going ahead and drilling all the holes out that we're gonna need to before we actually throw this on, because we wanna have all these panels, you know, ready. As soon as we throw them on a line everything, we're just gonna go ahead and weld them up. You're pretty much just gonna drill all the way down this line right here. Yeah, down all, all the way, way up, up there, right there, just so it'll be nice and strong once we weld that sucker in. And this is some pretty tough metal right here, so it's pretty tough to weld, and we got some good drill bits right there. Yeah. Nice drill set. Bits and we're flying through them pretty quick so one more thing i'm gonna show them before we continue working here making a bunch of noise look at that guys that piece right there welded right in beautiful yep we are ready to keep on making some noise and we're here soon gonna weld in everything Alright, so I think this is just going to be the perfect stopping point right here because a lot of this stuff is actually taking a lot longer than we expected. Especially with all the drilling that we've been doing. That drill bit, dude, it takes forever to drill out one piece. I mean, you're like sitting there for like a minute on each hole. It's that high strength steel, I believe so. Yeah, Some so super strong stuff. Yeah, we're going through these drill bits like it ain't nothing, but we are going pretty dang quick. We already got all this drilled out here. We even took off that center beam for the where the windshield goes on and we already mocked it up and we just took it off because the next thing that we're going to have to do is actually go ahead and do some weld through primer on all this stuff. This is already ready and then we're going to have to go ahead and do some weld through primer on all the other layers on top, right? Yeah, exactly. Just, just the second layer or actually all layers. Yeah, we're just going to go primer. ahead and throw all the layers on, but we're not going to weld it just yet once we throw that back on we're gonna do the exact same thing throw the both doors on that apron that fender that way we can do one last measurement yeah so basically we're gonna tack in these uh these panels right quick before we fully weld it in tack them and then we're gonna test fit all the panels the roof yeah. well we're probably, I, we might even just test fit it test fit it not tacked in that way whenever we align everything then, then we, we can tack, tack it in. yeah and then once we tack it in we can pull everything off and fully weld it in and after that dude it's just gonna fly by quick yeah. just right now we're trying to take our time because this is the most important step if you don't get this right nothing's gonna be your gaps and nothing's just gonna you're gonna, gonna have, be all off you're gonna have like some butterfly doors or something something <laughs> like that your doors won't shut right there's gonna be weird gapage all the way around we're trying to make it oh I mean, we're going by the book. We're trying to go. Everything's trying to be precise as possible. Yeah, exactly, man. It's coming right along, dude. Massive progress is being made. I guess you really just can't see it because, like, a lot of it is drilling, you know, cutting. Yeah, I mean, we got that little scent, the inside of that quarter panel already fully welded and went ahead and prepped it for ready for some painting on the inside and primer. I mean, the quarter panel, that that's just gonna go on there right away. The quarter panel, not worried about that. It's the easiest step. We're just gonna tack it on there. But as for this, you know, this is the where it took the big lick and it kept on ticking. <laughs> it took a licking and it kept on ticking, but you know what, the, the frame got pretty bad. Yeah, badly so, bruised oh yeah definitely so this is our very most important focal point we're trying to get this 100 percent if we rush it we're, we're gonna be too end up too tired and not wanting to focus right and we hey. weld this sucker in sideways hey let me just tell you something man hey, we've been we've been running on those for a little bit because hey, we've it, been we've been having wings and flying around this thing dude because not only does this take you know physical effort it takes a lot of mental effort as well there's a lot of you know brain work pretty much that oh, you yeah. got to do you know you got to do some thinking some and i'm glad all three of us are on here because whenever somebody misses something uh, yep. somebody else can mention it and it just goes it just all works hand to hand but we are getting stuff done man yeah it is super late though right now you know he tends already taking his break because he's been he's just been grinding man literally grinding grinding <laughs> man. he's just putting in a lot of effort this is he mentioned this is one of the biggest frame jobs that we've ever done that i we can't brought wait to him. bring him the other frame job that we're gonna it's have, gonna be man. so it's much gonna, worse man we're gonna uh, it's gonna keep know, maybe half the car or something <laughs> what are you thinking over there Nope. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a crazy one, but you know what? We're we're making slow and steady progress, and we're happy with how it's turning out. So oh far. yeah, so we're gonna come in here bright and early in the morning, and just continue working. 
All right, so it is the next day here. We're just gonna continue moving right along here. There is a little bit more prep work that we need to do to both of the pillar pieces that we already removed. So let's just go ahead, do a little bit more prep work, throw them back up there and get them ready to be welded in. Dang, son, that right there turned out amazing. It looks original, dude. Oh yeah, we got it nice and welded up and we also went ahead and uh, threw some nice primer in there. Basically OEM standards. Now what we need to do is start prepping this piece right here because this car actually goes together. It has to go in a sequence order. So we have to get this piece nice and prepped because it slides in over there, then it slides in over here. And the reason why we didn't do any welding over here on this section right here is because this a pillar piece that holds the door and everything it slides in through here and then we'll be able to fully weld all of this so i'm guessing let's go ahead and probably test fit this piece real quick get everything nice and prep test fit it and then we'll throw the doors on make sure and do our final test fit and then we can weld everything together and this thing should be almost done All right, so check this out, guys. This one piece right here is 100% prepped, and it is uh, self-tapped on there, and what does it fit like, man? Oh, it fits beautifully. As you can see, all the pieces are lined up perfectly with each other, and it lines up up there, and we kind of just mocked it up to where the old pieces are. You can see, like, the outline of the old one. We put the new one Dude. on, and it's just coming together. Everything up here looks good. We went ahead and put a self-tapper right there, vice grips, and everything's just lining up amazing. It's pretty cool how it's coming together, because at first, it kind of wasn't fitting up, but after playing with everything and straightening more stuff out, it's just coming all together. Yeah. So this piece is not coming off again, right? It's yeah, this piece is on there good. We have the self-tappers on there. Everything is nice and secure. Now we're just gonna go ahead and weld it up. Got it? Yeah. Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> Man, dude, was that not cool? Yeah, not that really. was scary, dude. That was scary. It, was it close by any wires? No. Or are we good? We are good. It's just the foam in there is really flammable, right? Yeah. We dug it out as far as possible. Dude, that is crazy, but he did tell us to remove the dash. Yep. Yeah, the metal listen. dash. Yeah, he, you know, he we did tell us to remove the complete dash, but I guess like we kind of just wanted to drive it somehow, but I think we are good now.
Yeah, it was just some of that foam in the back. That, that foam, out. it only burned for five seconds. It couldn't have possibly yeah. ruined any sort of wires or anything like that. But if it does, we know where to look, really, you know what I mean? But the, <laughs> look at these welds, dude. This these, thing is welding nice, dude. We don't even have to grind them now, man. They're like OEM Thanks, looking. Sir. OEM front welds. Couple more welds and that'll be in for good. And then what are we gonna move on to test fitting? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and test fit, test fit the doors and then probably start working on the apron and then the quarter panel. What is going on out there? They're de destroying the, <laughs> the trash can. Right yeah, let's just keep on moving. Everything is just flowing nice and smooth. All right, so check that out, guys. All the inner structures are finally just completely welded yeah, up. Yeah, we got dude. both inner structures welded in, and we also went ahead and coated everything with some nice etching primer, just like ODM does it. And it's looking pretty good. Now what we're gonna have to do is actually go ahead and put that last piece of the puzzle. It's the outer skin, which is gonna cover all this up and make it really nice. And you're pretty much just gonna test fit everything and you might tack it, right? Yeah, we're gonna test fit everything on. We wanna put the doors on. We'll do one last test fit, make sure everything lines up. And we'll probably even throw on the quarter panel, make sure that all lines up and also throw on the roof. Ooh, the roof is looking good. You got this bar welded in as well. Yeah, everything got the went front in. Bar welded in. Got all that welded in, and then we're gonna put the quarter panel on and also test fit the trunk and probably the bumper in the back. Make sure everything lines up perfectly. And then we can take this thing off the frame and it'll this, be done. Exactly, man. It's it's just this is the very final step, and man, this is where it's gonna go fast, pretty yeah. much, right? So we got a good bit more to go. So I just say we just keep moving. Send it. Is what I'm talking about right there. Look at those beautiful body gaps. That one right there is just perfect. But as for this one right here, what would you say about it? It's a little bit big, but what we need to do is once we cut all this, because it is kind of overlapped right now, and once we cut it, we can move it forward a little bit and it'll line up. Dude, good. Turning out amazing as well as the roof, right? How'd that line yeah, up? Yeah, we also just went ahead and threw on the roof and everything lines up pretty good. Whoa. It's actually pretty simple. It just lines down like that and everything's looking nice and even all the way through there. But I think what we're gonna do is take a little break on the body panels and start working on the front because that is also one of the major things that we have to fix and we have this apron piece right here that's going to go up here so basically you're just going to start prepping it and getting it ready to be welded yeah, on yeah so we can go ahead and you know put the hood on put the fender on line up the headlight and probably put the bumper on just to see how everything is lining up up here just make sure we don't need to pull anything like the frame rail wise exactly and then once we get this front end knocked out then we can move back onto this pillar right here and start yeah, welding on we'll, this outer we'll skin start welding all this stuff in and put the deck lid on and make sure everything is there and should be done
All right, so check that out, guys. All the body panels are finally on. Basically, this is the final test fit. We are finding out a lot, right? Yeah, we are finding out a lot. And the thing is, we do need some new hinges for the rear deck lid. It's, it lines up decently, but the gap is a little too small on that side. And you can see inside that they're kind of bent up. Yeah, so that's going to hold us back a little bit. But we already contacted the dealership, and it'll be here tomorrow. But, man, we got a lot of work done in today's video, really, dude. A lot of work yeah. was done. Everything is coming together. This is just like the final final countdown right here, final dude. Countdown. Final days. Final days. I think it'll be on here, what do you say, one more day one probably? More day. It'll be 100% done with it. But, man, we got the front end together, the doors on. All the body gaps are looking amazing, dude. This is yeah. just epic. It's just, it's just coming together right now, dude. And it's not even welded in. Once we get everything welded in, dude, we are 100%. That should be in the next video when we completely finish yeah, this we, thing. Yeah, we tried to get it home today, but as you know, it's just a difficult yeah, one, dude. Yeah, running into problems here and there. I mean, running into little things that we did not know that we needed to order, like those hinges and all that good hey, stuff. But, hey. It's all part of the process. It's all part of the process. But as for the front end, it is looking amazing as well. Everything is lining up perfectly but we do need to order some bumper brackets which those will be in tomorrow so you're just gonna have to stay tuned for the next video so make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and also be sure to give us a follow on Instagram where you can get inside scoop before YouTube and also be sure to give VTune to follow on his YouTube channel and his Instagram he's got some awesome builds going on there and he's just doing some epic work to this track hawk and if you want to help support your boys definitely be sure to visit GunSquad.com. we got these brand new t-shirts on the website and they're gonna sell out quick so definitely be sure to copy one but with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.